We got piles of vintage clothing. That runs deep over there. It's really early in the morning, about to head out. Hopefully we can get our goodies that we're looking for. We also gotta go pick up some coffee, so let's go. Okay, I go to Timmy's, but we're trying Starbucks out today. Breakfast is bomb, I must say. We gotta get going. Let's do this, let's go find that heat. So I just made it to the location. I can't bring you guys in, unfortunately, but I'll see you when I get back. I have a whole bunch of clothes. Let's do these. Like I was saying, got a bag of vintage now. Let's go home, go through it. It's daytime now. We are there for a while. Excited to show you what we got. As you can see, we got piles of vintage clothing. That runs deep over there. And then this bin is also full. So I wanna go through some of it, but if you wanna check out all the clothing, can't make it in one video, you're gonna have to stay tuned for the next, but let's get into it. <laughs> Real, come say what's up to the camera. We're on live right now, we're, we're recording. We're here, we're recording. You got anything to say? <sighs> you got your Pokemon shirt on, don't you? <laughs> All right, but thank you once again for tuning back to the channel, back into the channel. We got a lot of vintage to show you today and in the future. So if you guys enjoy these type of videos, please check me out. We got a lot of stuff coming in store for you this year. That being said, let's get into the clothes. All right, first up, we got the Harley Fat Boy Alabama t-shirt. Beautiful graphic on this one. I love the color of that blue, red just pops. Fat Boy hit the bottom. Got the classic Harley tag. Next up, we got the Philadelphia Eagles. Jersey T, very tight material, super cool piece. Logo seven tags. My homie Jake, he works at the shop with us, who's saying that the Eagles logo, one of his favorite sports logos. I think I mentioned this in the last previous video, but comment down below what logos you like. I like the Mighty Ducks, classic and Charlotte Hornets logo. Little sleeve hit right there. Keep it going with the sports. We got the New York Rangers Stanley Cup t-shirt. Eggs all munched up there, but on that majestic tag, if you could see it there. No back hit. Business on the front. Can't go wrong with these sports pieces. And then real quick before we get to the next one, check out the blue right there on the Eastern Conference logo. Fire. This t-shirt is one of my favorites of the haul. We got the I'd Rather Be Hunting t-shirt. Graphic is really cool. I'm not I'm not really with the, with the slogan of it, but it, it is a cool piece. Check out the tag right there though. Very old piece. It's probably 80s to early 70s, this t-shirt. This is a t-shirt for the little guy, Carolina Panthers. We got the single stitch on the sleeve right there. This one, the colors are perfect. We got that old NASCAR Derby type t-shirt. 1989 right there on the date. We got that dirt head at the back. Can't go wrong with these tees. The graphics are nice, the colors are on point, and the best part about it is that Hanes tag. Best tags in vintage, beautiful. In my opinion, that's the humble opinion there. This one is sweet, metallic, a long sleeve. A flame hit right there on that AAA tag. One more time on the graphic. I haven't really tapped into Slipknot myself, but the graphics are always on point. The back hit as well. Cut your throat and keep walking. And we got the Slipknot logo there. Thousand. Little Nike piece, there's no finish line. Silver tag. This is another older one. We got the Clemson Intermurials t-shirt. Check out that champion tag. And then we got that paper thin, as you see. Love these shirts. This one, I was debating on keeping it, but it just doesn't fit me the way I want it to, so. So it will be available for sale. The True X. Good t-shirt. Normally these older shirts, they're always small. Perfect XL, you can't go wrong with it. Little like paint spider hit there. We've got some NHL gear, Montreal Canadiens. Big graphic from the software tag. All right, these are the last two t-shirts. After that, we got the outerwear. This is a really cool one. We got the Epcot tie-dye. We got like the Epcot logo at the bottom. Nothing on the back but that sunset dye. Last but not least for the t-shirts, we got that bubble Nike print. Really cool graphic on this one. Tag is ripped out. Could be a white tag, might be silver. But then check out that back hit too. Beautiful. Fade is on point on this tee. Okay, we got about five sweaters, not too many. Let's get it started. We got the Texas Longhorns hoodie here. Hoodies are usually harder to come by. You don't really find too many hoodies. Usually it's always crews. Good hoodie on deck. Crew neck, this one is really cool. We got the older Wilson striped crew. It's always nice with those mock necks. And then check out that tag though. Older Wilson tag. The bottom has those cuffs as well. This is a dope one. Really cool one. We got the Harbor paint splatter crew on that Jansport tag. 
I love when the piece has natural wear like this. Got the distress on the collar. One more t-shirt in the pile. We got the little challenge court logo. All right, last but not least, we got the Florida Seminoles crew neck in that burgundy maroon color. I like how the seams are like that. These always fit well. Cozy, they look good. Bam. All right, everybody, that's it for me today. Thank you once again for sticking around and tuning in. We got a big pile over here, so if you're into this type of stuff, please comment down below, give us a like, and subscribe for more. Appreciate y'all. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, last but not least, this is a little honorable mention. Got the Ontario basketball embroidery on that Nike crew. Very nice, very nice. And we got the Made in Canada tag. Not go wrong with these, I'm telling you. Blessed. All right, all right, now I'm out. Appreciate you guys once again. Thank you, thank you. We'll see you in the next video.